We're gonna be assist feeding some ball pythons today. These are the kind of stragglers that hatched in 2021 that just haven't fed. And typically what'll happen is we'll assist feed an animal when it hasn't fed about three or four times after we've offered the rest of its clutch and they're all eating. And I wanna take you through the process of what I'm doing. You can see I'm gently holding it right now and I'm just putting this little fuzzy in its mouth. Now the next step is very important is to hold it from the body and let go like this and let it dangle for a second. Once it actually settles in, now I'm gonna set it back Back in this enclosure very gently and so basically what's happening now is that the reason you want to kind of let go is because sometimes when you let go they'll thrash around and if you set them down in the cage and they're thrashing around that actual fussy will get caught on the paper or bedding and actually come out of their mouth what we want to have happen is basically all right this animal is in my mouth i don't know what to do with it i might as well go ahead and eat it and what we don't want to do is force feed the animal what we want to do is assist feed the animal we want it to do the actual eating itself you can see now this one's already doing the undulation of the mouth saying that hey i'm already eating on my own. This is basically training them to eat. And typically if you fit this feed once, two, maybe three times, you'll actually get to a point where the animal will take food all by itself. We had a bunch of really cool sheds for a lot of snakes, but we were not so lucky on one. Lucky. Unlucky us. <laughs> 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 of course he's already angry. There's one. Ow. Let's count them together. Whoa! Not the face! That's not fun. Woo! I don't want to get bit again. Come on. <laughs> Shed. Get over here. Get yeah, over yeah, there. You gotta, you gotta be near him. Oh, okay. Near him. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Geez. Wait, wait, my face is. <laughs> what are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Got my arm, Jesus. That's not blood. That's a little Bruce juice right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! You can't even get him off without him like turning around biting you. Yeah, you're definitely holding the next snake. I'm good. Well, look, his head piece is in here somewhere. This time I'm going to start the process from scratch. This is a black pastel, and again, what I'm going to do is just really gently kind of get it into a position where I'm holding it where it's not stressing the animal out as little as possible right so I'm going to kind of get its head I'm going to hold its body where it's not freaking out I'm going to use the actual nose of the fuzzy to just kind of slowly pry the mouth open just get it in here like this and then I'm going to push it just a little bit into its gullet right not a lot just enough to kind of do it then I'm going to actually squeeze its head just a little bit so that those teeth those recurve teeth will actually catch on the rodent and then I open up and you can see how it's wanting to spit it out it's wanting to spit it out it's probably going to spit it out right so you just have to try again right this is kind of the process that you go through eventually you can get it to the point where it won't spit it out so we're going to try again get it a little bit down its gullet and this guy's got a lot of feist in it which is good you want him to have that energy right and you just get it squeeze just a little bit now i'm going to let go bam like that now you see how it's not really freaking out a lot more now i'm going to again gently set it down and we'll see what happens now it could very well spit it out and then we have to do the whole process again and on average i would say about one out of every hundred baby ball pythons that you produce needs to be a cis fed maybe not quite a hundred i'd say maybe one out of 150 or something like that but when you're producing you know 1500 baby ball pythons it still means you have a couple dozen at least animals that you're going to have to assist feed so really my numbers are a little bit off because we did produce about 1500 ball pythons we're probably going to assist feed about 15 to 20 ball pythons today so really we've done pretty well this year in all honesty but now we'll just sit back and hey right now it's looking really good it's not spitting it out the longer it sits like this the better chance it's going to eat on its own and as you can see this one is starting to do the same thing where it's actually moving its mouth undulating back and forth moving that rodent down again training it to eat on its own rather than just forcing a pinky down it which really doesn't do anything other than give it nutrition this way we're actually teaching the animal to feed obviously next up carl the emerald green tree boa shut out looking fantastic too slow faster you're too slow wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> who's walking up on us what are you guys doing wait what are you doing i'm so confused I'm trying to get a snake out and then somebody crawls up backwards on me <laughs> hey would you quit trying to take so why are we snake? doing this look at the beauty on that snake. nice look at that white just gorgeous we want the bamba just unroll it that's a perfect shit that's used <laughs> Ooh. That was almost there. Almost yeah, I there. Saw this, I saw this pupil go from this to this immediately. <laughs> Mr. Brian can do the next one. Wait, look at the blue on <laughs> Damn, I didn't know this boy had this one. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? It's not even venomous. Like, what well, are you yeah, well, I don't want to get bit by that. One ducky, one boy. <laughs> so we're going to do one last one, but I always have to say this every time I talk about assist feeding. Number one, please don't assist your ball python if it hasn't eaten in a couple months and it's an adult. I only do this with babies that have never fed before. I never do it with anything else. And the other thing is, is I really prefer you not to do it at all if you don't have the experience. You know, take it to a vet or something on that lines. I really don't like people to assist feed. I've been doing it for years and years and years. And again, same technique, right? Right? 
You can see this one actually even almost looks like it coils it a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead, but then she dropped it, which is fine. I'm gonna just go ahead and start all over again. Again, this is a, a really thing, like I always say, you have to be really zen when you're doing this. You have to be like super, super zen because it is really frustrating at times. And you just gotta take your time, take patience, and eventually you get it basically. So it's just a little bit of a process. I'm gonna just go ahead and get it to the point where it doesn't drop it. And then we're gonna set it down and we're gonna wait. So I have about 20 more of these to do. Again, that's a little bit of an idea if you ever have a baby ball python that you produce and you've had some experience or you know someone that's had some experience, that's the technique that we actually use. Again, I please ask you, don't do it if you don't have experience. And number two, never do it if you have an older ball python that's just on a strike or any snake for that matter, because assist feeding doesn't work with older animals. All you're gonna do is stress it out more. But this is the technique that works. And we can always save dozens of babies' life each year getting them to eat just this way. I would say two, maybe three assist feedings and they'll be eating on their own. I've got a tour that's in the house and we're gonna show them some amazing animals and have a great time. Take a look at Bruce actually has hiccup out, the uh, the snow blind albino monitor, looking amazing. Still has a little bit of shed stuck on her, but I should say he is looking good because it's a boy. I don't know why I called it a she, but nevertheless, look, look at that. What do you think, Bruce? Oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, he's doing good. Is he doing good with ball training and everything now? He doesn't get it from like far away from the cage. Okay. He's got it, if you put it right up on him though, he's mouth open, ready to rock and roll. So we still have a little bit of work to do with him to get him kind of dialed in, but we will get him in. Hey, I want to update you guys on something really quick, and that's actually Animal Con USA. I talked to this a few weeks back about it. Well, guess what? It is the last weekend of August. Here in the next week or two weeks, tops hopefully, we'll be launching the website. All of your favorite animal YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers, all that we can possibly get into one place down in Orlando, Florida will actually be there and you can have meetups. There's going to be panels, Q&As, all kinds of events. It's going to be amazing. So again, book it the last weekend of August 27th and 28th down in Orlando. Animal Con USA is about to get going. We've already signed up a bunch of really big name people and we've got tons more people that we're going to get on to so it's going to be amazing so keep your eyes out for that there's a lot of news coming animal con usa remember how i put the one albino turtle in here with the other red eared sliders well it's about time to move a few more some of these are starting to get big we actually had them over here just to get a little bit of size to them so let's go ahead and take maybe three or four of the biggest ones out of here and actually move them over into the big pond they're gonna absolutely love it. It's gonna be so cool. So, all right, buddy, go be free. And I tell you, the first one that we moved over there, just he is so cool and so interactive. So that's really me. I think this one's about good enough too. And again, as these get bigger, we'll just continue to move them over. We have a total of 15 albino reddit sliders. Be free. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, again, this is you know a couple hundred gallons of water that they're going to be able to swim around with. I think there's one more in here that has enough size to them to come over. And I think I'll leave the other ones over here just to gain a little bit of size. Probably in the next month, we'll probably be able to have all of them over here. So we'll go ahead and put this one over here. See you, buddy. Have fun. So now we have four albino reddit sliders in the pond, soon to be 15. Looks like everything is shedding today. Cupcake, my girl over here, has a beautiful shed too. Look, big old big. Oh, there it is. And it's just amazing. I, you know, again, I've had thousands and I mean, probably a hundred thousand snakes actually shed in my career, but there's just something soothing. Just look at this, just, just feel this, feel this right here. Oh, oh, isn't that, there's something soothing about, oh my God, I gotta do that again. Check that out. Come on, you tell me that that isn't cool as can be. Just look at that right there. Look at the size of that. You can see the boa actual pattern in here and stuff like that. That is absolutely incredible. And oh, by the way, you love birds out there. You may know that Valentine's Day is coming up, right? But we happen to have some Reptile Army swag just for you guys. So you can go to reptilearmy.com, get your Valentine swag, make someone happy, or just be a loving person yourself. And by the way, tell Valentine's, I'm actually gonna be giving each one of you guys a personalized video thank you for joining the Reptile Army. I'm gonna do a little update on Sriracha Tabasco. I also gotta do a little substrate. Sub early substrate change out we gotta clean the dirt i just wanted to show you guys oh really the camera are you scared of the camera oh you big baby he's doing so good i mean everything we literally keep him open on the weekends now kind of like bella he couldn't even touch him and now he's getting big i found a picture where like my hand was his entire body we're still working on sriracha though anyway so we're just gonna you know get started <laughs> Never do that again. How did I do that? Clean the trash out. 
Hey buddy, I need you to move. Ow! I got a trimmage now, too. Where'd he go? I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, could you do me a favor? Right over here, can you hit that playlist? Would mean a lot to me. You know what else would mean a lot? On this side, you could actually hit a subscription button. I appreciate you guys. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.